Good morning, guys. Um, today I wanted to give you a video on what we are doing as a small homestead to um, figure out the rising food costs um, for our chickens. So our regular food costs have gone up, oh gosh, probably, I don't know, 15% at least um per, per bag of chicken feed so we normally buy our chicken feed um in bulk so we're not paying as much it takes a few dollars off it per bag um but that is the cheapest way we can buy it so we buy it in a full pallet which is 48 to 50 bags depending on the um the packaging and so we do buy it in the bags um, there are other ways that you can buy feed uh, for almost any of your animals in bulk without the bag, which is always a little bit cheaper um, But you do have to have the machinery to be able to move it um, So a lot of times like out here, it's Penny Newman and they offer a tote which is oh gosh I mean, a couple tons of um, feed <clears throat> but it's in one large bag and you put a deposit on the bag itself and either you go up there they load the bag onto your trailer and then you take it here to your your home and you unload it somehow store it outside of those bags and then take the bag back and they give you another deposit you give your deposit back um so there are lots of ways to do that that is by far the cheapest way but not necessarily for us because we looked into the cost of buying containers to store the loose feed <clears throat> excuse me the loose feed um and gas prices being what they are um kind of calculating all that together it came out to more expensive per uh, pound for us to go and get it in our big old truck bring it here have buy the containers to store it and all that um more expensive to do that than it would be just to buy it in the bags wrapped up on a pallet already to go. So um, there are lots of options. Check out you know, your local feed store. But for us, the cheapest option was just to buy it in the, the totes as it is, or in, sorry, in the bags as it is, and then uh, store it in our big, um, we have a big sea train container that we put everything in. So, um, but even with cheaper <laughs> methods of buying, feed it still is expensive there's no way around it is still just really expensive right now um so we have kind of revamped our um supplementer supplementing of our chicken feed um with other stuff so we used to always do you know this chick the table scraps and a few little bits here and there but we've actually started um taking things that we produce anyway on this farm and specifically channeling them towards the chicken feed. Um, and so I will show you what those things are. So um, in this bucket here, the very first thing is just table scraps. We've got some rice and stuff, some tortillas, chick um, obviously eggshells, but also we've got some quail eggs. These are hard boiled quail eggs and hard boiled chicken eggs. Um, these are a great source of protein and we, I don't, we use quail eggs mostly just to make more quail. Um, and so we don't really eat them all that much. I know they're super great for high in protein and all kinds of good stuff and vitamins. They're super hard to open and um, they're also just really small and fiddly and we have so many chicken eggs right now that it's just insane. So I decided, you know what? instead of trying to make these uh, eggs work for us, we will use them for the chickens. Um, they are a fantastic source of protein, lots of vitamins, and also the more nutrient dense your chicken feed is, the less of it they need to eat. And so if we can get them to, um, to the point that they can eat, you know, two thirds of what they needed before, but because it's more nutrient dense, then we are saving money that way. Um, so that's kind of uh, the two ways that you can really save money on your any animal feed is either increase the amount of feed or increase the nutrient content of the feed you're giving them so that they get more out of it and they need less of it. Um, so either way, we'll, we'll help you <laughs> get through these hard times right now where everything's just so crazy expensive. Anyway, so... I'm just going to show you how I prepare this. Um, so this is actually our scrap bucket. This is what we use just for scraps inside the house. Um, my only my only wish is that it had a lid because there's a lot of times when they put stuff in here that's kind of 
I don't know. Not really bad smelling, not rotten food for sure, but just stuff that I don't really want to smell all day <laughs> sitting in my kitchen. So I wish it had a lid, but um, basically this is it, just a regular bucket. And let me just get our my stick here. So I use an old ax handle and I just, well normally I do this on the ground. I just smash everything up. I'm smashing up the eggs. I think I will get on the ground. Hang on. There we go. Oh, that's better. So yeah, I just move cats. I just smash up everything. Because this way, you see there are the eggs. There's the egg. And there's some of my kids' peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> more eggs. You can see all of this makes a really good variety of food for the chicken. That's another thing too is, you know, you can have really good nutrient rich um, food, but chickens are used to foraging. Their natural way is to forage. And when you forage, you're going to get a wide variety of foods and protein sources um so i try to mimic that by giving them a variety of things when i supplement so i'll throw in some weed in here okay. or i'll throw in some um oh gosh what else i'll throw in uh cayenne oh oh also also i forgot to mention i also supplement with uh, garlic so garlic is a really great um thing to add to your chicken feed because it is um just it's an incredible you know superfood basically um so it's really good for the respiratory systems really good for uh disease prevention all kinds of stuff so i just kind of pop off so this is the, those uh the center of the clove where it's guys back up where it's um kind of the cloves get really small or the center of the bulb, I guess, where the cloves get really small. I just snap off the top part, which is actually the root base of the garlic. And you're just left with these kind of smaller ones. And I just throw them in, skins and all, and smash them up. And the thing is, chickens are very good at picking out what they do not like. So if there's something in your chicken feed, you're like, oh, I wonder if they're gonna eat that. Just try it. If they don't eat it, they don't like it. Simple. And uh, we learn for next time. So already this is becoming a really nice mash of stuff. There's quail egg, quail egg um, shells, lots of calcium. Good stuff, all smished up in here. Okay, and I can already smell the garlic, so that's a good thing. It means it's getting through. Anyway, um, so now that's done. So I'm just gonna take this whole thing over to our feed barn. And my husband's already started some of the feed chores, but you'll basically get to see. So this is the other half of the chicken feed situation. <laughs> so we are now fermenting our chicken feed. Um, so this is, um, I think, three scoops. We use pretty large scoops, but three scoops of um, chicken feed. Just a regular old, you know, it's not organic or anything fancy. It's just a regular old chicken feed brand. Um, and then I throw some um, sunflower seeds in here. And then we cover the whole thing up with water to about two inches above the feed level. And we let that sit overnight. And when in the morning, um, the sunflower seeds are all soft and very easy to, for the chickens to open. Um, the feed has also soaked up quite a bit of water. And the water does two things. It uh, opens up and activates the nutrients in the feed so that it's more bioavailable for the chicken to, to work through in their crop. 
It also gives them a lot more moisture um, so they don't have to drink as much water because their feed already has quite a bit of water in it. Um, so it kind of helps to kind of smooth out the digestive tract so they're not having to eat a lot of dirt and pebbles to break down the food. But it also um, really opens up any nutrients that are in this food. This food is not the best, I know. It's just a very cheap brand from our feed store. But you know what, it's a good carrier and it does have some like basic nutrient um, in it. So that's basically what we go for because um, it is extremely cheap and uh, it's pretty good. Also, I will say um, when you go with cheaper brands of chicken feed, a lot of times um, the biggest complaint with cheaper brands of chicken feed is that it's very powdery and it has a lot of dust in it. Um, our uh, feed store guy doesn't carry this brand normally because other people have complained that the, it's too powdery. And it is, it's very powdery. I mean, this is it. And you can see, look at the uh, dust on my hand. It's just crazy. It should be a lot more uh, pellety, which is what the chickens will eat. But when you soak the chicken feed like this, the powder doesn't matter because you're gonna mo moisten up the whole thing anyway. And so it all becomes this really nice, soft, like bread material. Um, and that is what the chickens will eat. So especially when you put some seeds in there as well, like the sunflower seeds, or um, I've done uh, red wheat, I've done oats, um, just other things that kind of give it a little fun texture for them and also to increase the nutrient uh, content. But when you do that, um, it doesn't matter if the feed is really powdery. And so that saves you a lot of money because then you can get kind of a lower quality feed that other people don't really go for um, because your processing makes it more palatable for your chickens. So anyway, um, so normally we're just gonna dump some of our home, our chicken, <laughs> our kitchen uh, mixture on top of that. And then I would just leave it on top. And then when I go to scoop it out, I'm just gonna scoop out a whole bunch of the top dress with it and put it in their feed trays. And that's it. Um, so if you want more information about how we feed our chickens, I've made other videos about how we um, feed them in the feed trays we use with this because you can't use a dry feeder, obviously with this. It has to be a trough feeder where you scoop it up and ladle it in. Um, and that's totally fine. It, it works pretty well for us. And we've used it for a really long time. So anyway, um, so I hope this guys, I hope this video helps you guys, uh, gosh, weather this storm of um, rising feed costs. It's, it's getting crazy. But you know, the best part is if you're already getting um, eggs from your chickens, if you're already raising your own birds, you're well on your way to kind of insulating your family and yourself against everything else that's coming. Um, so not to be too much of a prepper here, but it's a good idea to, uh, you know, produce something on your own and be self-sufficient in something. Just try, you know? Anyway, so um, let me know in the comments if you guys have more questions about chickens. I'll try to do some more videos about their feed and our care and kind of how we all do it out here. Anyway, so enjoy your chickens. Bye.